I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 19, page 21 for my student Tasvir. And I hope many of my subscribers will also benefit from it. Question is, find the slope of the demand curve D of P equals to 20 divided by P minus 1 where P is greater than 1 at point 5, 10. So we will go with the definition of the slope of the tangent. Now slope of the tangent m is equals to limit h approaches 0. For this function we, we need to find tangent at 5. So we have d of 5 plus h minus demand value at 5 divided by h. Right? We are already given d of 5 is 10. So we can now substitute the given value 5 plus h in our equation. So we get 20 divided by instead of p we'll write 5 plus h minus 1 minus d of 5 is 10 and everything divided by h so let me write h on the side like this right I'm just trying to save some space now we will cross multiply and we get limit h approaches 0 20 minus 10 times square root of 5 plus h minus 1 means you could write 4 plus h or I mean 4 plus h right 5 minus 1 is 4 so we'll write this as square root of 4 plus h times 1 over h okay now we can take 10 common here that's a constant so we'll write 10 outside limit h approaches 0 and we have 2 minus square root of 4 plus h over 4 plus h uh, and at this stage we need to rationalize the numerator so that we can simplify it further right so so we can write this h let me write uh, okay this is square root and then times h let me bring it inside and we'll rationalize it with 2 plus square root of 4 plus h, right? That is the conjugate for the numerator. So in this particular example, we are rationalizing the numerator, uh, which we rarely do actually. 2 plus square root 4 plus h. Once you rationalize, let me close the bracket. Once you rationalize, uh, the numerator could be written as 2 square minus square root... Uh, 4 plus h. Now we get limit h approaches 0 and here we have 2 square is 4 minus 4 plus h. That's the numerator and in the denominator we have product of these two. So we have h times square root of 4 plus h times 2 plus square root of 4 plus h. All this is in the new denominator. Now the numerator can be simplified further. We have 10 limit h approaches 0. 4 minus 4 is 0 and minus h is what we get in the numerator. Divide by h times square root of 4 plus h times within bracket 2 plus square root of 4 plus h. Bracket close. Let's take all this to the right side. Now as we can clearly see h and h can be cancelled. So what we really get here is the slope. We need to find the slope at this point. Slope m is equals to a 10 limit. So now uh, let me rewrite this and then I'll substitute h approaches 0. Since we cancel we get minus 1 over square root of 4 plus h times 2 plus square root of 4 plus h. Now we can substitute h equals to 0 here. So we get 10 times uh, minus minus 1 over square root of 4 since h is 0 times 2 plus square root of 4. Okay, so that gives us 10 with a negative sign divided by square root of 4 is 2 2 plus square root of 4 is also 2, right? 
so we get minus 10 over uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Now this could be simplified, dividing both by 2, we get minus 5 over 4. So that is the answer for the slope of the demand function at the point 5, 10. So rate of change or the slope of demand function at 5 is equals to minus 5 over 4. Right? So that is how we could solve this question. I hope that helps. Thank you.